just going to show you this album I made really quick. It's called a uh, folio with a waterfall on one side. And I got the link or I got the instructions from a YouTube video, which I will link below this. But um, I actually bought two pieces of Halloween paper recently. And um, I wanted to use them in some way. And so I wanted to try out this, also want to try out this uh, YouTube video. So it worked out really well. And the awesome thing is it only took like three pieces of paper. It really took two pieces to make the album and then um, some additional paper to make the little waterfall part. So I just want to show you real quick. Um, so the nice thing is you use one piece of like 12 by 12, um, uh, the little boards that you get, uh, chipboards, sorry, medium weight chipboards to make the sturdy little album here and then um, here is you open it up and um, on one side I put some tags and this was where I had to do a couple additional pieces but it only took like I said I used two pieces literally for the front and back and you cut them down to like ten and a half by twelve and the other one you get on even smaller so I even use those scraps for like the pieces like this so they have these little tags that I made that you um, can journal on or add pictures to later. So, and then, so, and then this, like she walks through how to make this little side pocket. Then right here um, is the waterfall. And so I actually adjusted mine. I didn't do quite as many waterfalls as she did um, because the whole point of this paper was this adorable bottom half. And so if you did it all the way, it really would have covered up most of this adorable paper on the inside. So... Um, the top one, I'm not going to put a picture in. I'm just going to put like the date and the event right there. And then I'll add a little bit, a few more embellishments once I add pictures. But, and you could add some tabs if you wanted, like said, I'll add a few things. But the awesome thing is that it, I need to glue that down a little bit better. I just literally, these are the scraps from the paper, like the front. These are just the scraps with a couple of embellishments. So I actually have some projects I've done in the past where I have um, quite a few like scraps of paper and even a few 12 by 12 sheets left over from the project. And I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to definitely um, make more of these. Like I said, I adjusted it just to my need. She covered up these black things right here. It doesn't bother me. Um, she used another sheet of paper to cover them up. But I just love the way it turned out. So simple. It was really quite easy to make once I was doing it late at night. So my math was not very, very, uh, very well, uh, wasn't working too well that night, but, and, um, anyway, so very, very cute. And I'm going to make some of these for gifts next year, um, for the different holidays and birthdays and stuff for my friends, just, um, based on like, I have, um, one friend that really loves dogs. So I think I'm going to make one, um, just for her pets. She'll love it. And then, um, some of my friends, like I'm going to make them some Christmas albums or some of my really, my closest friends, I thought I might make some friendship albums using the same little technique. So very fun and a great way to use up. Just a f some of your scraps, and like I said, very paper friendly. You didn't need much paper to produce this. So I'll link the original tutorial below, but I just wanted to share that album that I made.